This is a uh, three-dimensional drawing of the table that we're building. Uh, it was created in a program called SketchUp. And uh, this is the program I use before I build things uh, and I design it out, um, make sure it's what I want or what the person I'm building things for wants. Uh, and I can zoom in and I can look at different aspects of the drawing. Uh, the colors for the legs are just here. Uh, just to show the difference. So I use the colors to separate things to make sure that I don't get confused about what is what. And so I, I build it all out and I put the dimensions there. Uh, and then <clears throat> I separate it. I make copies and I separate everything. And I create a what's called a cut list. And so then I know that for the, for the top part I need uh, these pieces and I put the dimensions there. And then when it goes to cut out the wood, I have an idea of what I need. And I also do the same thing for, in this case, the legs um, and the piece that goes in between the legs that I'm calling the stretcher. I'm not sure that's what the official name of it is, but that's what I call it. So. Um, this is what I do first before I do any of uh, any wood cutting, and it really helps me to make fewer mistakes. So going back to the table, this is what we've been asked to create. Uh, the table is going to be made completely out of walnut, and I'll show you some pictures here in a minute. But um, So after this is done, then we can go on to the next step. This is a picture of the, an existing table that the customer has, and he sent us this to give us an idea of what he wants with the walnut. So obviously you can see the, the legs and the thick tabletop. Here is another look at it from the top, and it has uh, pieces in it, and then a look from the bottom uh, with the metal bracket. So it gives you an idea, it gives us an idea of the item that he wants and that helps us quite a bit. The reason why the customer wants the table made out of walnut is because there were two of these trees sitting on his property. He had them cut down and these are this is a walnut tree and so Todd went and picked both of them up and brought them into the shop and then the next step is to use his sawmill to cut them into dimensional lumber. Here's a picture of Todd and Bill cutting up some walnut, not the exact tree, uh, but just an example. And uh, here's a, more of a close-up of them cutting up the tree into dimensional lumber. After the wood is cut into dimensional lumber, then it's stacked and stickered. And uh, stickered means you put uh, pieces of wood between uh, the layers so that air can get through and dry the wood and then you either air dry it for a long period of time or you put it in some kind of kiln to um, get the drying process a little faster and that is exactly what Todd is going to do with the walnut he's going to have some guy kiln dry it one of the other things that we are able to do is use our CNC machine to either cut out the real pieces or in this case we actually were doing a mock-up of the legs to see if they would work and so uh, I sent Todd the piece of software and he cut it out on the CNC machine cut out two of them put them together and you can see here that uh, it looks like it was going to work the way we wanted it to and that's really helpful to be able to test it first And then here are a few pictures of things that you've already seen. Uh, it's the leg piece, and then obviously I did two of them and put them together. And this is how it turned out. So now I'll make two more legs for the other side, and then uh, we'll start building the table come this spring after the walnut has been cut up and dried. 